All right, welcome back. You watched the intro video. Now it's the exciting part and I get to show you around the land. So we're starting down at the bottom. Uh, we're in quite a large field here. It's approximately five hectares in size. So that's about 20% of the land that we've bought. And the field is kind of on the edge of a, an old estate. And there's a big house, and this is the parkland that surrounded the big house. And the ground down here is ten, tends to be a bit better quality than we have higher up. Uh, and on the right hand side here, we've got a, a drove road, so like a kind of a track, and that helps us to access our land. Uh, and at the top, you can, these woods up here, that's where our woodlands start. And then right in the middle, here with these woods up, that's uh, an old quarry and that's where we're going to go to next and have a look around. Right, so here we are at the quarry. It's not super big, but it's uh, like a reasonable size. And so basically the rock here is a volcanic rock, an igneous rock, and it's super hard. Uh, and apparently the quarry was used to produce curbstones for like roads and cities and cities. This is what one of our neighbors has told us. And basically they would, from the quarry, there was a, a tramway that went down the hill to the canal and then they would take the stone to wherever they needed it, basically. So as you can see at the moment, it's quite wet in here. It's all these rushes. Uh, and if I go over here, you can see the sun shining off the, the water down here. But actually it's quite, the actually the bottom is quite hard. So it's maybe 10 centimeters. So it's quite wet. And then there's like a rock underlay uh, under the whole thing. And the reason it's probably, it's got a bit of water in here is, as you can, maybe you can tell, the uh, the way in to the quarry, it rises up, which prevents a lot of the water flowing out. Although there is a drain down here, and I can show you, hopefully you can see, there's some water moving here. So we think there's a pipe that goes underneath and it drains just quite slowly there and kind of going forward we're not quite sure yet what we're going to do with this area uh, but that's something we will discuss in future videos and as you can see some of the so basically there are some old tree trunks on this slope which have obviously fallen down and uh, you can see there's some old let's go a bit closer some old bales here which are falling down so we need to tidy this up a bit and then over there there's a few fallen trees that have been cut up but yeah it's quite interesting actually this is like the biggest rock face here which is probably about three meters high Four meters high. <laughs> right, so now we're going to go up to the top of the bottom field and have a look down. Right, we've made it to the top of the bottom field and in the middle here with these trees that's the quarry where we've just been and over to the left that's where we started our journey so now we're at the bottom of the current woodland here so we've basically got two areas of woodland we've got the western side and the eastern side so we're on the western side here and there's a track basically runs up between the two blocks of woodland so here we've got a predominantly oak birch and scots pine and there's also a few other trees there's a few spruce a few beech uh, 
but basically it's a bit it's getting a bit wet in here we think maybe that's changed in the last i don't know a few years maybe some of the drains have become a bit blocked because some of the some of the trees aren't so happy like this oak tree you can possibly see it's not got quite so many smaller branches higher up and so maybe maybe this water changing water tables not helping it and basically in this block i've we've seen some hare and some deer uh, but not i guess as the spring gets going we should we should see more animals and maybe if i stop talking for a moment you can hear the birds So that's kind of the bottom half of the western woodland is like this and then the top half is quite different so we'll talk about that a bit later on when we get up there. So you're probably thinking there's a building. Well, not exactly. If I say it was only about one meter high, then you're probably wondering what is it? So basically it's a, a water container and so basically if we go on the back you can see some pipes that are going into it so basically these pipes run up the hill uh, to a spring and then they come down here and feed this little building kind of thing so we think when it was part of the bigger estate, they would collect the water in here and then use it uh, around the estate. But now it doesn't, nothing really seems to happen with it. It just sort of stays in here. Uh, but if I can go inside this corner, you might be able to, you probably can't see anything. But if I shut up again for a bit, you might be able to hear the water. So yeah, interesting, but uh, not so much use at the moment. Right, as you can see, we've already been busy uh, in this corner of the woods. We've been clearing tree troops, but we're going to talk about that a bit more in another video. So yeah, we're in the eastern woods here. Uh, quite near to the track and so this corner is quite young trees and we've got a bit of a mixture of different trees that were planted about 20 years ago uh, so closest to us here we've got some we've got some oak trees here these two closer ones and then we've got a beach over here and then here where you've got you can see there's lots of stems coming up from the ground so they're hazel and then in the distance you can see they've got some ash trees which are growing quite well which is also a bit unfortunate because as some of you may know there's um, ash dieback which is a disease affecting ash trees in Britain at the moment uh, but hopefully hopefully these can survive for a bit longer and then over here we've got some cherry down here it's kind of a nice tree to have uh, and then over here we've got some, got some birch which is predominantly what's been planted further along so in the distance you might be able to see but there's quite a bit of birch and uh, ash further along that they planted and then we've got some hawthorn here uh, but predominantly the eastern woods are quite mature so we've got some some oak and uh, looks like uh, a beach there but actually this tree here is quite interesting so before we got these woods I'd never actually seen such a big cherry tree obviously it's it's broken now but uh, it's obviously very old but it's kind of interesting to see such a big cherry tree so it's learning all the time basically and basically most of the woods although it's very flat here most of the woods on this side uh, on quite a slope 
and there used to be quite a few tracks and paths that would run along the slope and that goes back to the days when it was uh, part of an old estate in the 1800s so it's obviously something they would probably use for leisure walking along the slope and basically we're just gonna zoom further down and we're gonna get to a water tank and we'll stop there because from there we can see uh, some more interesting things Right, so we've made it to the next water tank. It's not, doesn't look that deep. If I put my boot there, it doesn't look so deep. Uh, but actually, if I jumped in, which I'm not gonna do today, maybe in the summer, uh, I would go up to at least my waist. So it's, it is quite deep. Uh, and then if we just look back from where we've come, so we uh, have come down the slope down here. And as you see, it's, it's uh, fairly steep uh, obviously it doesn't always come out very well in in video uh, but you might be able to see a kind of a plateau coming along so that's a an old trackway coming along there uh, and if we spin round hopefully it's not too much in the sun but there's a stream coming down the bank there which is probably why there's water tanks here they collect that water and then yeah just carries along along here the slope and here we've got, again, we've got oak and beech mainly. Got some sycamore as well. And then a bit further along, there's some quite old silver birch and Scots pine. And then if I spin around a bit more. So we've got, this is actually our field down here as well. The edge of our land as the, uh, the trees over there, that's the border. Uh, and then at, just at the bottom of here where you can see this gateway. So on the old maps from like a hundred years ago it's actually shown as a well uh, there's no kind of sign of it now really so hopefully it doesn't just open up one day when we're going along there uh, so now we'll just I won't talk too much about the field here because it's kind of hard to see so I'll go further along where we can get a better view <laughs> 